Hello, this is Michael Hahn. I'm going to be discussing obstetrical sonography with you in this session here. Um, we have a lot to cover in a relatively short amount of time, so we're going to get started. Um, with this, I'm going to have a little bit on ultrasound safety, uh, some descriptions of early obstetrical ultrasound in the first trimester. We'll then move on to maternal structures and the placenta. Um, we'll then go on to the findings at fetal anatomy scan, what normal structures were meant to look for. And also uh, we'll review several common, uh, commonly encountered abnormalities. We'll talk a bit about Doppler and we'll talk a little bit about uh, multiple gestations, twin pregnancy. So with that, let's get started. I'll also show you several unknown cases um, just to whet your appetite here. And here's the first one. So take a peek at this. What do you think is going on? What part of the anatomy are we viewing? Is it normal? Is it abnormal? If abnormal, what is the abnormality? Take a look at the labels that are being presented to you, orbits at this point. So is this Chiari malformation, sacrococcygeal teratoma, and encephaly or caudal regression syndrome? And now with those in mind, here's that video again. So again, look where we are. This is the cervical spine coming into the head region. And I'll speed that up a little bit. And then we're going to find the orbits here with lenses inside. And something is missing here. There is no cranium. There is no brain. This is a case of anencephaly. So fetal safety during the ultrasound evaluation. So overall, diagnostic ultrasound is considered safe during pregnancy. Although, of course, we don't want to use too much ultrasound um, for no good reason. So we want to adhere to our, our LARA principles. And we want to take a peek at our mechanical index and thermal index. Mechanical index is the tendency to cause cavitation in tissue. Thermal index, tendency to increase temperature in a tissue. And we want to keep those uh, below one, um, except for brief periods of time when we interrogate the fetal structures. So you'll find those parameters on your um, ultrasound viewing window. So MI here, mechanical index, TI, thermal index. Note that thermal index will increase um, with pulse Doppler. Um, so limit the use of pulse Doppler. Of course, it's okay to, to use it when necessary, but I would not leave it on um, for a long period of time for no reason.